everybody. Thanks again for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries. Coming back to you with round two from the hyperspace trials here at the Wet Coast GT in Vancouver, BC. So today, let's get ourselves hypered into the battlefield here. We've got ooh, a little bit of new school versus old school here for you. So on the left side of the board, we have Michael Carpenter, a good friend of yours and mine, has been on the stream multiple times from Victoria, BC, same as me, which means I'm actually uh, rooting against him. Uh, so we have uh, him with uh, Quick Draw, with Juke, Pattern Analyzer, Special Forces Gunner, and Fire Control System. Uh, Kylo Ren with Hate, Advanced Optics, and Proton Torpedoes, and Muse with Squad Leader. Uh, across the way, We've got, oh, it still says Greg Giles. That is not the name. Just a moment. We have Keel, oh God, I'm gonna mess this up. Keel Scriver, Scriver, Scriver. If you know how to say that, please let me know. <laughs> there we go. And he is packing some old school aces. So, uh, Suntir Fell, Predator, Hull Upgrade, Shield Upgrade. Uh, Darth Vader with Hate and Afterburners. Uh, Valen Rudor with Crackshot and Night Beast. Uh, I will pass your uh, hellos to Michael. I'm going to go and find out which of these two gentlemen are player one so I can mark that. So it looks like Michael is player one. So I'm going to get that marked up. And the timer is go! All right, so Michael, I have played against many, many times. He is a true son of the First Order. Going hard and fast with Muse there. Looks like Muse a squad leader. That's actually not bad. Um, he used to fly this with Null. And uh, since the smackdown on Null, where they took away that pilot talent slot, um, he switched it over to Muse, which is eh, similar but different. No more of that uh, uh, coordinating at uh, Pilot Initiative 7. And there goes Keel. Looks like he is simply turning out, trying to get out a bit. And I've asked these two gentlemen when they receive crits, if they could place them into the dice tray as well, so that way I'll be able to see a little better what's actually happening. <laughs> Larry. Yeah, no, you will, you'll have every right to be upset. <laughs> And there's Kylo doing Kylo things. Now, keep in mind, folks, I just want to let, uh, remind you guys, just for the record, I am not a judge. And therefore, if something happens, I can't do anything about it except notify a judge. So if, I, if we do see cheating, if we do see problematic events, um, go ahead and call those out, and I'll call them out if necessary. If it is a missed uh, opportunity, too bad, that's a missed opportunity. Uh, as an example, in the first round, we had a gentleman who forgot to drop his bombs, and I sure didn't go over there and remind him. What's up, Kalen? Yeah, we're at 30 viewers right now, that's not bad. That's uh, 
Kaylin Wong, one of the organizers and one of the uh, probably better X-Wing players in the whole of Canada. Uh, just coming over to see how things are going. Want to join in for a bit? No. Oh, yeah, you're judging. That's right. I didn't get my eye out, but... Are you enjoying your beverage? So Mikey's keeping those TIE Fighters together. That's interesting. Yeah, a bit deity gunboat! I honestly can't wait until gunboats come into hyperspace. Uh, they were one of my all-time favorite ships. Uh, I loved them ever since uh, TIE Fighter back in the day. Hey, Trooper 420, good to see ya. Uh, Mikey, are you saying that you're, you're betting on Mikey? You think he's going to win this one? Uh, Keel has a pretty good list that, uh, from what I understand, he has flown very well. Uh, be right back, guys. Just got to check something on the table. <laughs> Trooper. No, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Two uh, initiative six makes Kylo super duper sad. Even sadder than normal. He's good! You'll have to bear with me. We're in a very large conference room with a lot of other players around. So there might be a little bit of background noise to pick up here and there. Yeah, Trooper, I, I, I cheered him on as well. I was like, good luck, Mikey. I hope you die in a fire. <laughs> Hello, Jake, also from Canada. Thanks for joining us on the YouTubes. Man, I think the first few rounds are just going to be jockeying for position. Oh, Chinook Squadron, nice. Wow, Keel really playing it uh, very cool there. He's not advancing. He's keeping them guys up in the corner. All right, just for my own sanity, I got to go and confirm who is Valen and who is Night Beast. Be right back, guys. So it looks like Valen is in the appropriate TIE Fighter, which is the yellow one uh, painted up in Sabine colors there. Because after all, in, uh, in Rebels, in canon, uh, that was his TIE Fighter that they stole. <laughs> wow, Mikey pushing hard. They're all rolling out. <laughs> that's a good one, Avid Uh Yeah, I agree. The resculpt the, that's a little bit smaller, because right now uh, the, uh, that silencer is huge. You're right. Is he's totally um, Swallow Ren slash Ben Swallow. 
a slightly resized silencer will be a great thing. And there's been some, well, so I just want to comment quickly. There's some great pricing right now. Uh, not only is there the stock pricing. Uh, hello, Killian from Germany. Thanks for joining us on the YouTubes. Uh, so great stock pricing. So there's the Jessica Pava alt art, uh, the Grand Inquisitor alt art. Um, we had some calculate tokens done up uh, with um, droids on them. It's, they look great. And then of course everybody gets a a, a uh, sorry a movement one template. Hey, thanks, my friend. Cheers to that. Mm, beers. Uh, nothing like a golden throat charmer. And fell just to boost him. Trying to get away. Gotta get away. Gotta get away. So they're gonna measure and... Oh, it is in. I cannot tell if it was obstructed. They are just going to laser that up. Ooh, that looks like it is not. You betcha, Jake. Beer and X-Wing, mm. and a whole bunch of awesome players. I really could not go wrong. <laughs> David. <laughs> no, Bally's not here. <laughs> That's uh, some very excited gentlemen at one of the other tables, I think. Oh, best strat, roll that. I agree, the bank boost would have gotten him that little bit further. Oh, that's not good. He's juking one, he's gonna spend that focus, turn up for two, and it looks like Fell is gonna lose his shield. Yeah, I quite agree. That bank boost probably would have gotten him out. And he would have been okay. And set up to start coming around that rock in the next turn. Uh, as it is now, he's stressed. And he's going to have a bit of trouble getting himself turned around. Mikey keeping Kylo back. I'd be pushing him really hard. Yeah, at least at least behind the gas cloud. Good point. And and honestly, Fell loves that. What? Give me auto thrusters again? I'm in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mikey second guessing his dials a bit. As he often does. I often force him to second and triple guess his dials. <laughs> and there he goes, checking again. <laughs> no, I had not seen that. <laughs> but I really want to do it now. <laughs> Welcome to the auto thruster cloud. So in the first round, we had, uh, I got a bit of stats here for you. So uh, first round, a uh, little bit of trivia. We had uh, one game actually go to final salvo uh, and two games decided by a single point. Uh, Jake, we are capped at 54 today. <laughs> Trooper. Yeah, if you don't fly like me. You mean like me. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few of us out there that do that. <laughs> Ooh, I got some rankings after round one. Let me just go ahead and open that up. 
So, oh, Keel actually is currently ranked number one. He had a, oh, wait, oh. Oh, we got two players that have a uh, win with 400 MOV so far. Uh, Keel, who is on the right side of your screen there, and a gentleman named Dylan Barkley. Uh, top, rounding out the top eight right now, we got Adam Foster, Greg Giles, Justin DeVries, Zane Cross, Michael Carpenter, and Paul, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher this, Saboran Herzog. Saburin? Sub I don't know. <laughs> so that, that gives us our top eight currently. And it looks like our breakdown is... Wow, I only see two uh, separatist lists. Six first order. Looks like eight Imperial, a couple of scum, and the rest are pretty much all rebels. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, David says, how long until FFG changes gas clouds to give you a strain if you fly through them? Um, I don't know, soon maybe, soon maybe. I, uh, I could see them leaving it alone. Uh, but I could also see them adding a strain uh, to get you that extra up. Yeah, Rebel Beef with Leia right now is where it's at, is really where it's at. Ooh, Valen turning around. Oh yeah, Inferno with Gas Cloud, so good. Yeah, Aiden, Howl Runner, a bunch of freaking generics, and hide behind the Gas Clouds. Vader looks like he's rolling out. And there we go. Not sure he rolled far enough. He's spending a force to get his extra action. Oh, and he's doing it again. And target lock on, I do believe that is Quick draw. That sounds powerful, Daddy. And there's Fell, barrel, barrel rolling out. See, I. I think if he, yeah, I think if he'd done that bank boost, he'd have been able to turn and get a shot with Felt this round. Hmm, good point, David, good point. Um, I do believe that it's balanced because it offers the same ability to your opponent. And so it's not like you are, are, are failing to get, or that you only are the one getting it. And it looks like we got a single hit from Quick Draw, two Vades, Juke down, and that still gets it. Good on Mikey, remembering his Juke. And so now we got Vader's gonna shoot back. Two, and then you duped one. All right. <laughs> no, I, I think the limit, I, I think if you had, if, uh, personally, I look at it, I bring debris that is gonna bring the most pain to my opponent. And so I choose debris often that, uh, is gonna nullify any bonuses my opponent's gonna have. Oh, and then he turns it up, hit, hit, crit from Vader. 
Ooh boy. And Mikey's gonna roll his two dice from quick draw. Whoa, hold, is that range three? Oh no, that is three dice. And there's two evades. And he's gonna spend his last evade result for the third. Awesome. Oh wow, that sounds uh, a little degenerate there, a, a bit. Uh, Valen got a shot. He's gonna spend that focus up for one. Mikey's gonna toss his dice in there. Two focuses. And then it uh, looks like Quick Draw is going to get the shot back. And it looks like a blank and two focuses. Oh no. Looks like that was two hits. Oh! Best strat. Roll exactly enough. <laughs> uh, yes, Quick Draw did take a damage. Just for some reason, it's not showing on the overlay yet. Hold on. There we go, quick refresh. All right, just gonna go double check everybody here. Yeah, just confirmed, Quick Draw did take that one damage. So we got uh, one damage on Fell, one damage on Quick Draw. Sorry, one shield off of each. So still very much anybody's game. Mikey thinking hard with those dials. You can tell by the smoke. Mikey just thinking on that last dial. Uh, no, I, I agree, Daddy. Um, I think the, I, I think when Fell did the forward boost instead of the bank boost. That put him in a position where he's actually gonna have a bit of a hard time. Uh, I think Mikey is in a great position to feed somebody. Uh, and if he's lucky, it's gonna be Phil. I mean, at this point, I could see him probably throwing Muse in there as the block. Uh, try and get a bump on Vader, keep Vader from doing anything. Uh, and then just come in and try and ruin Fell. Uh, he's only got four hit points left. Get him done. He's almost 70 points, so. All right, maneuvers going. We got Muse pulling up. Ah, David, yes, I love that, actually. Um, Tobias is my favorite right now to move those gas clouds around into places where I want them. Um, and that actually is, is something that has ruined my opponent at least one time. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of, of uh, sorry, of both Soontir Fell and Fen Rao. Um, I do not like the fact that at equivalent points, Fell's just playing better. Just in my opinion, playing better. Oh, Valen going over the rock. Oh, so aggressive.
<laughs> yeah, okay, you don't like it either, good. <laughs> oh, Valen gonna have to roll. See you later, Jake, thanks for joining us. Ah, uh, no damage. Ines, thanks for joining us. Oh, over, only a month out from point balance. Oof. Wow, I'm looking forward to seeing what they rework. Oh, hate Vader or naked Fen Rao? Ugh. Probably naked Fen Rao because I'm better at flying him. Um, but that's just me. I, I think Vader actually needs afterburners rather than hate. That's just my opinion. If you have if you have the points for one or the other, go for afterburners. Ah, June. Ah. Uh, what about what about you, Eight Bit? Uh, would you would you go for the Vader or the Finn? Oh. Yeah, I'm a little sad they didn't come up with purple difficulty stuff uh, before. Yes, Finn! He's just such an asshole. I love him. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Finn actually needs to be dropped a few points. Uh, I think they've overcosted him right now. Um, the, the, big, the big problem with Scum, for the most part, was, uh, was an under-costed Boba Fett, not an over-costed Finn right now. It looks like Vader's just pushing through. Wow, getting aggressive on quick draw. Oh man, I 100% agree with you on that. Drop fan, <laughs> the fan doesn't need a modification slot. I mean, if it had got a mod slot, um, I would just staple afterburners to it all the time. All the time. Uh, there's Fell coming around. I'm not sure he's got room to boost. I'm pretty sure he's gonna barrel roll him closer uh, in towards Muse there. Uh, that gets him in range one, but it's it's Sintir Fell with four hit points. So there's a really good chance that he's just gonna shrug all of that off. Yeah, you're right, David. Afterburners are shield. Um, that shield, that crit mitigation in the early game is would be huge on the fangs. Ah, and there he is. Barrel rolling out. Well, in, out, in. Barrel rolling over. There we go. And getting himself in place. There we go. He's just moving those around. And then, of course, Sintir fell. Somebody in your bullseye gets an extra focus. And it looks like Quick Draw is shooting at Valen Rudor. Oh! So that was hit, crit, crit. And Valen gets two evades and a focus. So, oh, panicked pilot! Times two? Oh, that's terrible. Double panicked pilot? I'm gonna go double check that. I make sure I saw that right. Double panic was brutal. Although, the return shot here, Sintir fell into Muse, 
And Muse just likes it. Gonna spend the one evade. And uh, oh, two evade results. There was one already there that I didn't see. So looks like Muse is gonna take two. And looks like he is shooting with Kylo at this point. Oof. Going to double check what that was all about. Oh yeah, that was Valen taking it. Uh, Vader, range one into Muse here. That's an awful lot of focuses. He's thinking hard about whether to spend it. Check on whether Muse took damage here. And it looks like he's not. Spending it, just the one hit. And Muse shrugs it off. Just gonna double check Muse's hit points. And there goes Valen and all the stress he accumulated. So it looks like those two shots I thought were on, or two hits that went on Muse did not. Uh, so Muse is actually full. That was actually on Quick Draw. Quick Draw's shield's down now. Okay, Kylo is shooting at Vader from the look of it. And Mikey, cheat early, cheat often with his bump. So Kylo shooting at Vader. Die, granddad. What's going on here? Oh, that's right, he used the advanced optics and a force charge. Invader gets two, best strat, roll enough. And so now Mikey gets a chance to shoot with Muse here, maybe? Oh, I didn't update Valen. Oh, there he is. Wow. Keel's still ahead because he's got the half on Quick Draw, who is expensive. Two focuses. And that was a fat load of nothing. All right, and then, then we have Night Beast with one hit. Oh, he's going to spend the focus and uh, hit crit. Oh, that was a crit. That's right. And ooh, one evade, one crit. That looks like that was into quick draw. Yeah, never mind. Nobody actually got hit on that one. Whew, this is quite the match. It's still really close. They're within five points of each other right now. And we got about 40 minutes left on the clock.
Oh, yeah, Paul. Uh, a lot of us do. A lot of us do. I have uh, an i5, i6 list that does nine-point bid. Uh, and actually, it would be 11-point bid, but I didn't. I did. I felt like that was too much. <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of lists running really tight on the edge on points. <laughs> oh, Ray, glad you could join us, buddy. Um, I've already razzed him about that. And uh, he, he, I don't know, quite understand where he's coming from, but he does not like Gurry. Uh, he's all about Dalen and <coughs> Shizor. Oh, dials are up. Muse taking the, ooh, the hard turn. I don't think he's going to get where he thought he was. We might be barrel rolling though. He might be barrel rolling for the block. Yeah, I, I agree, Ray. Um, he had some trouble making decisions about what to fly. And uh, I think late last night actually committed to this. <laughs> Which seems to be doing pretty well for him. There he is barrel rolling. It looks like he's going to get Invader's way. Okay, and then we got Night Beast. Oh, which one was that? And then, of course, Night Beast getting that free of a, uh, free focus action, sorry. And then Barrel rolling out. Ooh, got a great shot on Muse. You bet, Ray, this is table one. Come tomorrow, this is going to be those top guys. Kylo pushing up. I wonder if Kylo's going after Fell. Hmm, very interesting. Very interesting. And uh, there's Quick draw doing what quick draw does. Taking the focus and then he's link and rotate. There we go. Got that rear shot. Maybe. And, ooh. Tough to see, but I think he might have a shot on. Oh no, Vader's gonna move. Oh, blocked with Kylo. Look at that. Although Muse is in a real bad spot. And Fell coming down. Here he comes. And oh, shh. Is, this might be another bump. Oh, well done. Oh, that bump is beautiful. Beautiful. It's got target locks on Fell and everything. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, okay. man. This is the last place Fell well, wants to be. So he gets that free focus from the bullseye. But Mikey being player one, quick draw is going to shoot first. Oh! That is not a shot. Damn. Vader, gonna take that range one into Muse. 
Still fresh. Ooh, he's got a couple of fours. He is not going to bother from the look of it. So it looks like Mikey. Oh, he's checking to see whether Fell has a shot. Uh, it looks like Fell. I cannot tell what they've done. Okay, so it looks like Fell did not have a shot. Kylo's gonna open up on him. Got that target lock. Not that he needs it. Best strat, roll Nat. Oh, shiz. And he's gonna turn up for two. Oh, two hit points left on Sintir Fell. Oh, he took three? I guess I read that wrong. And this is Night Beast into Muse. And Muse evades one. And so that is shield down. All right, just gonna double check all of that here. All right, so just confirmed with the players uh, yep, that was a direct hit crit. Ouch. Fell with a single hit point left. Vader's fresh. Valen's dead. Night Beast hanging out. Mikey pulling ahead this round, 64 to 34. Currently, he's given up half on quick draw. Muse has lost his shield, and that's it. So Mikey flying really well today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, so there's Muse turning out. Is that a stressful maneuver? Oh, no, he was coordinating to Kylo. I had forgotten about the squad leader. <laughs> he won't know until he watches the archive, and then I'm sure he'll come and talk to me about it. No, I, I like to joke at Mikey's expense, but he is actually a very good pilot. Uh, he has uh, beaten me far more times than I have beaten him. Getting him out of the way there to get Kylo out. K turn. You gotcha. Mm, I wonder whose target locks were those up in the corner of the board. Oh, quick draw, slooping over the debris. No action, who cares? Yes, Ray, this is round two.
I'm glad you guys understand that it's all in good fun. I love all of you, and uh, when I talk shit about you, it's because I will also talk shit about myself. <laughs> What's next here? Quick draw, we got, I guess, Fell and Vader doing their jazz. Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't he go over? Hey, uh, Jonas, I want to double check what he just did there. I think he went over the gas cloud earlier. I'm not sure he got an action out of that. Didn't you, didn't you overlap the gas cloud? Oh, outside your action step, okay. Never mind, never mind. Always outside the action step. <laughs> Faceless Corp? Yes, I did. <laughs> as much crap as humanly possible. And so we have 30 minutes left on the clock. Half an hour for Mikey to bring this home. I, I ain't missing nothing, man. This is great. Oh, that's right. Quick Draw has Pattern Analyzer, and that's why he was able to build. Kings of War and Legion players, finish your turns. Time's up. No! <laughs> yes! Sorry, a little bit of yelling at the Legion guys there. They're all so angry. Oh, wait. Why did he remove the... Oh, because that's Muse. It looks like range two on Vader from Quick Draw. Wow, Keel's in a bad spot here. Mm, looks like one he crits. Uh, wow, and Vader gonna have to spend a force. There we go. One hit. It's gonna, there we go, advanced optics to turn that up and a force for another. Ooh, he's gonna spend that focus. Hoo -hoo -hoo. He has to, he has to. Wow, crazy. But there's no shots in return. Ooh, that is a bad place to be in. Wait a minute, let's make you rolling dice here. No, he's not. He's just shaking. It's actually quite the match. Now, I can see him bringing Kylo. Mm, yes, he doesn't go slow, but he does have that nice bank two that's gonna get him into a good position. Uh, Muse is a little too far out to do much in the way of decent coordination. But also he knows that nobody's chasing Muse at this point, so he's probably free to K-turn him and bring him back around. Right, I, I, may, I may talk some shit about Mikey, but uh, I, I, I think he's doing really good. And uh, I honestly wish him the best.
get zero. Mikey double checking his dials. Surprised, I haven't seen any dial spinning yet on, uh, on stream. It's usually the best time to do it. Yep, called it. K turn on Muse. It's a good time for it. So Mike's gonna drop the stress on him. There we go. And then we got Night Beast doing a hard turn one, so no free focus for him. Yeah, called it. Bank two out of Kylo. Looks like that might actually be a bump. Yep, he's got to get those gigantic forklift bits out of the front. And yep, but Kylo's got the force to handle this, I think. And then quick draw coming up and around. Looks like he's going after Night Beast now. There's a stress. Good sportsmanship here, watching these guys move each other's ships. Yep, quick draw, focus up. There's no point in a juke when your opponent's packing a focus. Vader turning, oh, Talon roll. That's okay, quick draw is okay with Vader shooting him through the rock. Just under 25 minutes left here in round two. I'll see what I can do. I'll, I'll see what I can do, S41X. Uh, thank you for joining us on Twitch. No, no guarantees on getting those, uh, sorry, the uh, Nanaimo guys to fly any better. Oh, glad to hear it, Ray. Um, if you're curious what X-Wing tabled is, it is uh, an app that uh, basically tracks all of your cards, your damage deck, your tokens, all of that sort of stuff. Fantastic for uh, casual play. Oh yeah, little bump there. That's uh, close enough. So uh, if you haven't checked it out, Google X-Wing tabled. Um, go check it out, it's both a website and an Android app that you can sideload. Ooh, that's a good roll. Mikey turning that up into four. Oof. Vader spending, ooh. Oh no, that was, oh, it was quick drawing to Night Beast, my bad. So Night Beast has taken two, one left on the Beast. Whoops, too far. Ooh, there's the one of aid. So it looks like three. 
Wow. Yeah, that's kind of what I was it's one, so Vader's gonna lose two shields and regen two force with hate. That is shields down on Vader. That's not a happy Vader. Ooh, Keel rolling natties. Night Beast into Kylo. Kylo being all like, I like the hurt. And so he's gonna spend a force to turn one up. And looks like takes two. Oh, and then showing the dark side to Night Beast. Gonna go through and pick out one of them pilot crits. Personally, I really like Panic Pilot. A lot of people are like blinded or uh, various others. I think Panic Pilot is great because double stressing somebody really puts them in a hard place. Stunned pilot, very nice, very nice. And then he's gonna shuffle that up. I believe your opponent actually has to shuffle it back up. Or should, anyway. Never trust Mikey to touch your damage deck. <laughs> wow, well, this has been a very good game so far. Very impressed with Mikey's flying. Uh, yes, yes, they were. Um, both those panic pilots ended up getting dropped on Valen earlier. One, one right after the other on the same attack. Um, there is an Android app, but it's also a web app. Um, if you go to uh, their uh, GitHub page, there's a link there to load it in your mobile browser uh, and run it through that. And it works fantastically through that as well. Heck, it even works in regular Chrome on a desktop, which is not really nice to see. All right, dials are down. Muse, looks like he's doing a, what is that, a hard turn? Yep, hard turn three. Very nice, very nice. Getting all up in there. I think he might be trying to get Invader's way. Oh, he might be We're looking for the coordinate too onto quick draw. Eyeing up his options here. And he is, he's gonna coordinate the evade to quick draw. Yeah, you're supposed to do that the other way around, Mikey, but that's all right. Ooh, a hard turn one. Ooh, tight. That was great. That was well done. I've got a distinct feeling that Kylo's uh, swinging around and he's just gonna ruin Night Beast Day. Oh my God, what? Mikey, I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked. I would have slooped the other direction. 
I, I think this is his first critical error. Kylo is not in a good place here. Now that said, hmm, where Vader's at, he doesn't have a lot of choices as to where to go. He might end up. Oh, Mikey, 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 you sneaky bastard. And is he rotating? It looks like it was focus link rotate. With the pattern analyzer, of course. Oh, Vader. Face first into quick draw. With quick draw shooting first, Vader's got three hit points left. Yeah, it's a tight call. If I were, it, oh no, you should have used your afterburners. All right, whatever. Let me see if I can uh, find the link for you, David. I'll, uh, I'll put it in the chat. David, you're right, that link doesn't work anymore. That's really weird. Maybe you changed the link. Huh. It looks like he broke the web app, dang. <laughs> like that is yeah the, the lag will sort itself out we have we're shared network here so it's not the greatest but it'll do Squadron, thanks for joining us on the YouTubes. I love your guys' battle reports. So dynamic. Ooh. Turn up for one. He's into Kylo. Kylo's gonna take his three and, oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's he doing here? Does he not get to roll dice? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice try, Mikey. You can just take the hits, but you actually have to roll dice. So turn up for two. Ooh, is he? Oh, no, that was only one and one. That's right. And Fell's taking a bunch. Night Beast hanging on by a thread here. Mikey's still ahead, but only by about 40 points. So we've got 12 minutes left on the clock. Uh, Keel is finally bringing Fell back around here. I think he might actually get attack, an attack, uh, bleh. I think he might actually get an attack with him this round. Oh, 
Oh, and it gets going. Okay, Dial, looks like Mikey's committed. Keel is committed. We got Muse. Starting out with a turn two, blue. Gonna clear that stress. And, uh, oh, taking a target lock on Vader. Huh, I did not see that coming. Oh, oh, Mikey, what the hell is that shit? I'm so proud. Hey, Robert, thanks for joining us, buddy. Glad you can make it here on the YouTubes. The tubes of you. I know what Kylo's got this next year. Oh, is the target lock to Kylo? Okay. Thanks for making that clear. I was wondering what the F I was going on there. Ah, that's why, because Kylo's coming up behind the Vader. Oh boy. He's like, Grandpa, you pissed me off. How dare you? Things getting a little bumpy bumps here. Oh, nice. It's always great to spend time with family. I mean, there's always going to be more X-Wing. Family's important. Glad you had a chance to join us, though, Robert. Wow, look at that mess. That's a hot mess. I wonder where Vader's going. He's got Fell. He's going to do Fell first because that's the easy one. <laughs> Three inevitables death, taxes, and X Wing, eh? There we go. Good job, David. Thank you. Maybe he'll get that fixed soon. He's been pretty on it. Hey, Dan, you're playing through your lunch break. Okay, that's cool. You're playing through your lunch break. <laughs> Some of the folks playing uh, Kings of War here. They're having a little lunch break, but some folks have gone a little long. Okay, I kind of figured Vader was getting out. And, oh, he's taking the target lock. Because he's got, uh, looks like the one force charge back. And he's still got a charge on afterburners. I might have used that charge to get a little further from Kylo. But that's because I'm a big freaking coward. Oh, Mikey is so hot today. Holy shit. So, oh, two evades. Oh, and there's the crit going through, stun pilot. So now Fell taking a shot. Whoa, Natty's. 
And that was on Muse. Mikey getting four. He's just double checking range. I'm pretty sure that was two. Yep. There's two, no, one. There's one, that's a blank. Oh, fuel leak. Okay, let's see where we're at now. Okay, Mikey. Oh, a Night Beast has been pasted. No, that was that uh, stun pilot on him. One evade. And so that is now going to be. Oh, blinded pilot and hull breach. Oh, terrible, terribleness. At least, at least, uh, blinded pilot. You know, he can still turn up with the force. Uh, hull breach doesn't matter when it's your last hit point. Wow, Mikey just giving him the boots. Oh wow, that looks like that was actually lethal on Vader. Did I miss? I did miss one of those. Oh, balls. Wow, this is a serious uphill battle now for Keel. Oh, Robert, uh, thank you for the comment about the logo. Um, I will pass that along to my wife. She's gonna be very happy to hear that. She's been working very hard on a bunch of new art for us. Yep, I got it caught up. I got it cut up. I'm finally there. It's a little hard for me because I'm actually like 15 feet away from the table. It's, it's, uh, I kind of have to go on what the camera sees. Oh, we got, we got a judge call. They want to make sure if that's actually going over the, the, the gas cloud there or not. I would call that as no. And it looks like Kalen is saying that no, it does not overlap. Oh no, he's coming over to have a look. Gonna weigh in with his semi-professional opinion. Kalen's going to do it now, and it looks like, yep, it comes off the gas cloud from what I can see. Kalen's nodding. Yep, looks like that is a clear move. Fred! Fred! I need your score again. Oh, no worries, David. We're going to be here all day. This is only round two of six. So uh, come on back once you drop your son off. We'll keep you occupied. Ooh, Kylo turning in. Ah, uh, yeah, he's going for he's going for fell. He's going for fell. Mikey taking the target lock. Fell, of course, didn't have a lot of options. Oh, there's quick draw coming around. Wow, Mikey has been flying so well today. Oh, soon to your fell, flying hard right into Muse. There we go. 
There you go, good enough for the girls we go with. Gonna clear his stress. He is gonna get that focus because he's got the bullseye firing arc there, so that's something. At least he gets that, there we go. So that was uh, beginning of engagement. So, looks like he's gonna go quick draw first. Three dice, into Fell. They're just checking their range here. Mm, two hits. And fire control, he's gonna roll that last one into a focus. And Fell's just gonna be like, blasters, who cares? Juke the one. Wait, how did he juke? Uh, not that it matters in this case. Okay, fell shooting back. Hit crit. Two hits. Or two evade, sorry. And then Kylo into fell. Oh, this could be it. We got about 30 seconds left, 20 seconds left. And oh, Mikey, Jeebus. <laughs> He's gonna spend that target lock on the last one. Oh, yes, four hits. There's literally nothing Fell can do. He's gonna spend the focus up for two and take two and die in a fire at the end. What a great match. So that ends up 200 points for Mikey to 53 for Keel. What a great game. That was some really, really well done flying. Um, I think, honestly, that turning point was when uh, Keel was bringing, it early on, when he did those hard turns and started heading towards the top of the board, um, he should have done the bank boost earlier on instead of the straight boost. And that, unfortunately, forced him out. It forced him into a bad position, and then uh, he just couldn't catch up from there. Okay, guys, we're going to call it here for round two. Uh, we'll be back in just a little while with round three. Keep your eyes peeled. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash geektechindustries. And we'll see you on the mat.